Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to go through and show you how to install an ASA firewall on GNS3. Um, so I've got GNS3 already installed. If you want to know more about that, please look at my previous videos. And I've also installed a, a router as well. And again, that's in my previous video. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fire up uh, GNS3. Um, we're going to follow these instructions here. We'll basically navigate to the appropriate menus. Um, so the first thing to do is go into Preferences, the QEMU, and then the QEMU VMs. Um, at the bottom of the UI, just click on New, um, and then create a new VM. So um, we'll go right in there straight away. So basically go into the GNS3. So this is my GNS3. Um, I've got a couple of firewalls already installed, uh, labeled them ASA 1 and 2. Um, but in, in order to install it, um, what you need is some files. So the first thing you need to do is go and download this um, ASA 842 file. Uh, please don't ask me for the files, but they're readily available on the internet. Um, so you download the files, just do an extract files here. Um, and it, it, I've already extracted it, but as soon as you extract it, it creates a new folder um, and it creates these two files. These are really important files. The first one is the um, init rd file and the vm lunuz file. Um, make sure you don't extract this one. Um, it's not needed to be extracted. Please leave it as it is. Um, the only one that should be extracted is the, the when you when you download the ASA. Just click, right click, extract files. Okay, and then it creates these two files. So it's from here that we need to uh, connect the GNS3 into our network. So from from the GNS3 menu, basically go into Edit Preferences, and this menu pops up. So you go into this QEMU VMs. Right. As you can see, I've got the two two uh, ASAs already loaded, um, but for for your purposes, you might not have any ASAs. Just click on New, and then from from this template, you scroll down and click on ASA 8.42. Click Next, and then what you want to name it. So I've got ASA 1 and 2 already. We'll call this one ASA 3. Click Next. Uh, leave that as default. Don't touch this at all. Click Next again. And this is where it asks for the two files. So where we downloaded those files and extracted them. So you got the init RD and then the VM LU NI NUZ file. So you browse to the folder. Um, go to that. And then my folder is in here. So these are the two files. So click on that and open. And it says, would you like to copy that to the directory? What that does is it just takes your files. If it's in a different folder, it likes to copy it to the images directory on the GNS3. You can say yes to that or no, but I, I've already done it. But you should say yes to that. But as I said, I've already done it. And the next one is the, the, the VM LINUZ file. So click on Browse. Um, go to the menu again. And click on that and click Open. And again, it asks you, do you want to copy that? I've already copied it, but you can say yes to that. So I'll say no to that. And you finish. Um, so that's pretty much it. Your ASA is already installed. You just need to make a couple of little tweaks. Um, as you can see, this optimization CPU throttling, if you've got a, a, a less powerful machine, um, then it's advisable to do that. Otherwise, you're, when you boot up the ASA, it throttles the CPU and it, and it knocks it down to 100%. Uh, but I've I've got an, a Pentium i7 with 16 gig of RAM, so I don't, I don't really need to worry about it. But I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, all, all these guys, you can leave leave exactly as they are. There's no problems. You can just you know leave leave that fine. Um, what you do is you just click on the ASA3 and do an edit. Uh, there's a couple of checks that you need to make. Um, the first one is go to the network. Make sure you, you, if you want extra interfaces, you click on additional interfaces and what type of interfaces as well. So you've got the gigabit, um, Ethernet. Uh, but I'd, I would normally leave that to default. In the advanced settings here, this is where you can change your CPU throttling. Um, and also from the options menu, again, just confirm that the what I've got here is what you can see on your one. Um, normally you have to leave that default. And also on the kernel as well. Again, uh, with, with the GNS 1.3, it, it's already built in. You don't have to modify these. But just double check that this is the settings uh, and make sure they're correct. Uh, so mine are correct. Just say OK to that. And we apply that and say OK. And that's finished. So if you now go to your 
your ASAs, you now you see that you've got three ASAs and I've just the one I've actually installed. Bring that in. And let's put a, a router in there as well. So we're going to that, put a router in, and um, we'll, we'll connect these two guys up. So pull down the fast ethernet, and then put that on the ethernet. Okay, so in order to get both of them working, oops, sorry, uh, I'm going to get them both working. Let's just start them both up. Um, so both are green and they're started up, so these will be booting now. So we'll just give that a minute to boot up. So that, there you go, that's booting up at the moment. Okay, so we just booted these up. Uh, get onto the terminal. There we go. So the router's booting up, and the ASA is booting up as well. I'm just going to pause the video there while that boots up. Okay, so that's booted up, and um, as you can see, the Cisco ASA is booted up here, and. So as my router, just press enter, that's the router's ready, and so is the SA. So let's just put some basic configuration on there. So put some enable, there's no password by default, show IP, uh, show interface, sorry, this is slight interface, IP brief. So you can see you've got the four gigabit interfaces that we had installed, so let's just configure one of those. So, uh, ask later. Interface gigabit zero IP address ten dot one dot one dot one no shut and then name if outside okay so just check again Okay, so that's up. We've got an IP address on there, so we've got the router. And we're going to configure fast ethernet zero. Um, no shot there. Okay, so that's up. So we should be able to ping the firewall now. Oops. Dot one dot one dot one. There we go. Ping in the firewall nicely. Just ping the other way as well from the ASA. No problem. So there you go. So we've got the ASA and the router both working. Um, and then uh, you can now start adding things to this. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to build a complete firewall ASA lab uh, with VMware. Um, and I've got a number of uh, XP machines uh, with an ASA, some routers and some layer 2 switches as well. Thank you very much for listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up on my video. Thanks very much.